hello and welcome back to the step-by-step -step html tutorial for beginner series and in this video we are going to do a little advanced stuff with html we are going to create a contact form for our website so that our visitors will be able to provide their information to reach out to us so this form has some required criteria along with normal selection as you can see here email field if we put something wrong here it is going to give them a message just like this one we have got this password field with a minimum length of password information and we're going to learn more about these stuffs throughout the video so without further ado let me take you to my text editor which is sublime text and for this tutorial i'm going to create a new file so let's go for it file new file and then i'm going to give a name to this file as control as i'm going to give it to form.html and then i'm going to save it here and before we start creating our form let me show you we are going to connect the form in our future video to this website so that whenever someone will visit our home page they will find the option to contact us we are going to add a contact button here and whenever they will click they will lead to a page like this and they'll be able to provide us information throughout this form so let's move on and if you have missed my previous tutorials of this html tutorial series then i'm going to attach the link into the video description for you so that you will be able to start from there so let's omit them out and let's start working i'm going to make this window a little bit smaller uh, and let's move on here and we're going to go back to the form tab and we are going to get the html structure first which is html and i'm going to select this one so that we'll have the full structure let's give the title as contact form and then we are going to let's say contact us instead of form and then we are going to work on body so let's give a tab and we're going to take the form tag here as we are going to create our form so let's select form tag so that you'll have the starting and ending tag of form now let's hit enter and let's start from the beginning so as you can see here on the top we have got a h2 tags and we're going to take this one for the first phase so let's take h2 tag here and then we are going to select h2 so that we'll have starting and ending tag let's put this information fill up the form fill up the form and then in the second line we have got first name then colon and then we have got the text field where people are going to be able to put their name whenever they need okay just like this so let's go on we are going to take these fields so before we take this text field we have to provide this information here so let's say first name and then colon then we have to take a tag which is input tag let's put the angle bracket and type out i n p u t and you will find this suggestion let's select this one so that we'll have the full syntax of input tag let's make this one a little bit smaller here and increase this one okay now let's put the ty input type as text and then we are going to provide the name as first name and we are going to explain about this thing later okay at the end of this video and after that we are going to take a field text field for last name so let's put last name here and then colon input let's select input tag from here so that will have the full syntax let's say text and then the name is going to be last name names value right all right so now if i just save this file and if i open this file in a browser we are going to see that our form has been created but we are seeing something like these things are coming up in line and the reason is the form tag and the input tags are actually inline tags so they're actually placing by the side of uh, one another we are going to make it right so let's do this i'm going back here let's make it smaller all right now let's put break tag here and another break tag here for the next line and if i just save this document now let's reload this one here that's working fine okay just as we are seeing here for this field let's go for the other details collection we are going to take email field email and now if i just enter input type text here and then if i put email let's save this document and we're going to see some difference here for example if i am putting a wrong email in our previous contact form here for example if i put let's say hello 
and then if I click on send now it is going to show our visitors like a message like you are missing at the rate from your email address please input this one so that you will be able to accept your document but if I go to our new contact form which we are creating let's reload this one and if we put something up oh, before we validate this information we have to take this button send now button so let's take send now button here so we are going to type input it is going to be submit and then we have to add value here like send now and if we save this document and reload this page oops we need to give a break here okay and now if I just reload this page we are going to see that send button is available here but I'm putting let's say Acharul Rafi but let's put a wrong email address here Rafi and nothing else let's click on send it is going to work for us and it is not verifying the details when our previous form is actually verifying information here so why they are actually verifying they are verifying this information because we have got in this input field of email address we have got the type as email now let's save this document and if we reload this page and now if we just put like let's say Acharul Rafi again sorry and let's put Rafi in the email now let's click on send now again and it is going to show us the message that we have provided the wrong information so this is how things works and now let's say we want our email address to be required and we are going to talk about this thing later so let's put required and we can simply remove these things people must need to provide their email address to submit the form to us okay this is really important now let's move on to the next part here we need password so let's go back into our code and then we're going to put password and input type let's see if we can guess the input type here for the password yes you did it right we have to provide the input type as password let's make it smaller here all right and the value is going to be password and then we have got let's say which information birth date now if we provide like birth date birth date here and then input type let's say what it is going to be here it is going to be date okay and the name should be birth date and for password we have missed to add the break tag so let's do this here break tag all right so now let's save this document and let's go back to our new form here and just take a look we have got first name last name email address which is required password if we now provide something here in the pass password field just take, take a look they're hidden from any one of this website or any uh, from the website interface all right so that's how password things works and then we have got birth date now we'll be able to select a date whatever you want let's say january 7 and if you have a birthday like 19 98 or whatever your birthday is we have got the things and as you have been entered email address it is showing us fill out fill this out to send this email okay so this is because you have provided this required information here now let's go for the next option which is gender so let's hit enter and then we're going to write gender and let's give a break tag here and then we are going to get this information and for gender as you can see we will be able to select any one of the gender as you can see it could be a male it could be a female and we can select other as well so let's go for it we are going to see how to uh, make this uh, working like this okay so now we are going to take input type first and then we are going to provide input type radio as you can see it is a radio button here and then we are going to provide the name as gender oops gender and then we are going to put the name as male and after that we are going to provide the break tag and let's copy and paste this thing for two more times as we have got the same issue here or actually the same thing here just we have to change the name of this 
information so let's say female and then we have got other now if I just save this file and reload this thing here we'll be able to do the same thing here okay so let's say we didn't enter these gender things here and by providing this gender information we are giving our form that indication like this information like male female and other details are actually a person from this family okay so we need only one entry from these selections so now i have just removed these name fields and let's save this document if i just reload this document we'll be able to select all of these things here but this is not possible to become one single person there's a male female and other options so they either could be male or female right so let's move on we are going to give the name as gender and gender and gender here now one thing that we have to add for these radio, radio buttons to work perfectly for us is to add value for this information for example whenever someone someone will submit this form we need that what is the value they have provided are they um, is the person a male or female or he select he or she selected other option all right so for this we need to provide this value information so let's say for the male we have to provide the male, uh, value as male and then go for the next one for female we have to provide the value as female and then for gender uh, sorry for uh, other we have to provide the value as other all right now if we just reload this page we are going to see everything working perfectly all right and it's time to go back to our old form here and then we have got some check boxes as you can see uh, for a pet selection so let's say pet here and then we are going to give a break now let's hit enter we are going to type out like input type checkbox and then the name should be pet as they're actually the same thing same family based peoples <laughs> or members and then we are going to provide cat and then break tag after that we have to go a little bit down let's stay input type same thing checkbox and let's pet pet okay put pet and then dog here as the name value okay and then we have to provide the value of these things for example we are going to add value here and then let's say cat for this value and for this value we are going to provide dog you guessed it right so let's say dog here now let's save this one and in our pre in our uh, original here as you can see contact form we are seeing another button which is reset how it works for us so let's say you don't want to provide information or you have provided something wrong here and you want to uh, reset the form for your use so in this case you can simply click on this reset button and all the information that you have provided previously will be gone let me show you again we have provided this information here as an example now i don't want to i want to change the information or remove everything from uh, and start from the scratch then let's click on reset it is going to reset the form for us all right so let's set this reset button as well and we are going to do the reset button without putting the break tag as we want this in an inline position so let's go go to our form and let's reload this one and see how it is going to work all right so everything looks good now it's time to put our input type here and we are going to put the value as reset and then we are going to put the name value or actually keep the name value uh, blank no problem with that so let's save this one now if we just reload this page we're going to see the reset button as well let's see if it is going to work for us yes everything is good now let me show you how this form is going to work for us in the back end so let's say i'm going to provide my details here ajharul and then rafi and then my email address and then i'm going to put a password and let's say for password we are going to provide some minimum length okay so let's say everyone should have a password of at least eight characters how to set this thing up into our form so let's go back to our code and you are going to find that where is the password here it is 
So we have to provide an attribute which is going to be minimum length as you can see min length and we have to provide let's say for let's say five words uh, five characters I'm going to put five here and then I'm going to save this one let's reload this page and we are going to provide the information again here email let's select this one and then I'm going to provide a password which is going to take let's say four characters only and now if I just try to send now button then just take a look please please lengthen this text to five characters or more so you should provide the details whatever it is mentioned here as you can see we have got five characters here minimum length so you should the or the user should provide these things here so this is how password setup works now let me put some information here and then i'm going to select a birth date from here let's say 15 uh, and then i'm going to add my birth here as an example let's say 1977 and then I am a gender as male let's say I have got pet and then I'm going to click on send now let me show you how our backend is going to pro get this information to our server listed so as you can see here from this part from form.html we have got these things we are going to copy the full details from here I'm going to copy and then I'm going to take a notepad here let's open this one and we're going to place them uh, okay so just take a look here first plus name equal to our child. so we have provided these values and I'm going to last plus name email and mdrafi okay password and then we have got birth date then we have got gender so if we just take a look on these values as you can see first name Acharul, last name Rafi, email MD Rafi, and then web syntax. Okay, at the rate, this syntax means at the rate here gmail.com one two three. This password, then we have got the birth date, and I have selected in the gender as male, and for the pet, I have selected cat here. Okay, so these are these are the things that our server is going to store for our users. So whenever they will return to our website they will get this information from there okay so this is how html form things works and in the next video we are going to connect this form with our website which is let me open it up this one so that we'll have a home button and a contact button here so i'd love to see you in the next video as well and i believe you have found some value from this video and if you did please give this video a like share this video to help your friends and subscribe to my channel to get more helpful videos in near future and please don't forget to let me know your opinion by commenting below i hope to see you in the next video thank you very much for watching